everyone, it's your lovely Abby Dagren, and welcome back to my channel, lovelies. Today I'll be speaking on the natal chart of Drake. I'll be speaking on his personality traits, his characteristic traits, and everything that involves his career and how a lot of his success have been contributed by his career. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video, lovelies. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagron family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Also hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. And also share this video with everyone you know, whether that's your family members, your friends, your enemies. Anyone you know in general who will love this content, is a fan of Drake, or who really loves natal charts. Now let's get right into the video. Drake was born on October 24th, 1986, and this qualifies him to be a Scorpio. So with this placement, he tends to be very mysterious. So he may not be the type of person that may come out a lot. You may not see him rarely. He wants to make sure when he does come out, his presence is felt and people know that he is there. He is also the type of person that has ambition he's going to work hard to make sure that he accomplishes all of his dreams he may have a stubborn element to him as well because he is a fixed sign and he tends to be the type of person that knows what he wants in life and he's going to make sure he gets it and if it's not it then he's just not going to think about it or even look at it that way so him being a scorpio really makes sense and it really describes the person who he is and he really represents this sign well next up is his moon and cancer so moon is exalted in cancer so this is actually a great placement he tends to share his emotions a lot more and he does it in a healthy way so people will know how he's feeling he's going to be vocal about it you can see it on his countenance and it'll be good um he's also the type of person that will be emotional because it is a water sign and the moon placement and he is going to be vocal and honest and he may have his emotional times but it's not like all of a sudden it comes out no, like he'll have emotional spouts and you'll know it's coming. Unlike the opposite, which is Capricorn, which is the detriment of the moon. Um, basically, you won't see it coming and out of nowhere it comes. But Cancer will show their emotions, you know how they're feeling, and they're vocal with their emotions. Next up is his Mercury in Scorpio and this is a great placement because he has the same Mercury and the Sun in the same section that is a privilege because he'll be able to speak what he feels in a more confident way and he's gonna be honest so sometimes when he speaks you may have to decode because you may not understand it in a way like the way he speaks People may be like, wow, what's the deeper meaning behind what he's saying? Like sometimes he'll say things like, you see this? We did this. We did all of this. So you'll think about what he says. Like he's when he speaks, it's a deeper meaning. And you're going to see him in a way that is like, wow, like what he's saying is so accurate. And it makes so much sense. So having this placement is great because his son is in Scorpio. And having the Mercury in Scorpio really helps his personality and the way he speaks. Next up is his Venus in Scorpio. So he has a stellium in Scorpio. And with this placement, he tends to be very obsessed with his partner. And he's going to be one of the most adamant partners out there. So he's going to make sure that his lover is happy, fine, good. He's going to really take care of you when he truly loves you. If he truly loves you, he'll give you the world. But at times he can be obsessive so he may feel like oh no you can't touch her or you can't touch this person this person's mind so in a way he kind of 
see the people who he dates as like his property but sometimes it's not intended to be that way they just really love their spouse and they just want to make sure that their spouse is happy and that their spouse is protected so having this placement is nice they are very great partners and they'll take care of you and make sure you're good Next up is his Mars in Aquarius, and with this placement, he tends to have an inventive type of vibe. So he loves to invent new things, he loves to do things that other people have not done in the past, and with his music, you have seen that he has done new things and done things that other people have not done, or he has done things that other people have done, but he's made it a lot better. He may at times be termed as someone who's different different and people around him will be like wow this he's very different he does things differently and at times it can be used to hurt people with this placement however these people with these placement have like the most beautiful thought out mind and they just need to know that regardless of what people say about you just do you and I guarantee you later on in life people will follow after what you've done so this is a very nice placement Next up is his Jupiter in Pisces, and Jupiter is ruled by Pisces, so this is a great placement. He is going to be able to look at things from a mystical point of view, and he's also going to look at things in a way that other people may not look at it, so other people may see something as a setback. However, he's going to look at it like, oh, you know what, Like I can be successful regardless of what's put in my way. And having this placement does give people a lot of wisdom and strength to know that regardless of what other people say about them or do to them, they're going to keep on going. And knowing this placement, they tend to always have visions and always see things. And this can help a lot in their career path because maybe they have a deal or some business venture that they want to go into however they don't feel like it's the right thing and they will probably get a dream or a vision to know so this is a great placement to have next up is his saturn and sagittarius and with this placement he tends to go into occupations that are very fun and interesting so Having this placement, he may go into a fun occupation. He wants to do things that are different, and he doesn't like to be controlled. He doesn't like to be restricted. So he may go into acting. He may go into music, and that's what he's done. He's going to go into different occupations, and he's now he knows in his heart he's going to be successful. So with this placement you can't hold the person down they're going to make sure that they either go into different occupations in order to get different streams of income or they're going to go into occupations or different ones in order for them to know what they're the best at and usually the ones that they're the best at they're going to stick to that one and make sure that they make that one thing one of the greatest things that has ever existed Next up is his Uranus in Sagittarius, and with this placement, another placement that deals with openness, he's going to look at society in a way that is something that you should go into for fun. He is also going to look at society in a way that he should do everything before he passes, so he more than likely has a YOLO type of vibe with this placement. And he may do different things that other people aren't willing to do or prepared to do. But he'll go into different things, different occupations, and really try his best to master them all. Or just well, he just wants to go into things that deal with philosophy, deal with the meaning of life, deal with things that are very deep. And with this placement, I know he does that. And that's probably what brings a lot of his inspiration, him going into different things, him learning different things. And just being inspired by different things as well. Next up is his Neptune and Capricorn. And with this placement, he tends to try to increase his wealth and influence in different ways. Whether that's through social media. Whether that's through his music. Whether that's through just going out and meeting new people. His influence is something that really is important to him. He wants to gain a lot of wealth as well. So he may be very inventive. He may think of different ways to find money or to increase his income. And this is something that is very intelligent of him to do and very smart of him to do. And 
anyone with this placement tends to be someone who loves to work all the time and loves to do new things and he does talk a lot about how he's worked very hard like he would do all-nighters when he had to do his music make sure he'll get his things done and that's part of the reason why he had a lot of his success because he worked very hard next up is his pluto in scorpio and this makes a lot of sense because of the time he was born so he is basically a millennial and with millennials they tend to go deeper into things they'll go into things that people in the previous generation will not go into or talk about and they make sure that their voice is heard so they have obviously the Scorpio vibe. That means they're going to look into things that are mysterious, what other people may not look into, what other people are afraid to or like they just don't want to go into it because it's not considered popular. They're those type of people as well. But Pluto and Scorpio, they want to make sure they go into everything. So this makes sense about Drake's vibe because he does go into a lot of things, a lot of topics, and a lot of music. So he really gives millennials a very great reputation in regards to the energy that comes with being a Pluto and Scorpio. Next up is his North Node in Aries. And with this placement, he will need to develop these attributes in order for him to find his gifts. So what he'll need to do is be the bold and assertive initiator, using his energy and encourage to inspire change, identifying with the warrior within, asserting himself to overcome challenges, taking risks and not being afraid to speak his mind, being the pioneering spirit of his generation, don't be so concerned with what other things and want. He needs to follow his own path in life and desires and that there's no way that he can go wrong. Surround himself with people who support his assertiveness and boldness. And also he has to become the spiritual warrior that he is meant to be. So this is what he needs to be and I think the majority of this placement he is. Next up is his Chiron in Gemini and probably when he was younger he had the wound to speech so either the wound was because he did not feel prepared to speak to people or in front of people he may have had a speech impediment or when he spoke people really never listened to him so that's something that he had a wound of and personally I feel like he healed this wound already and he is working on it because he does speak a lot and his speech is very good and he's able to bring his point across and regardless of who listens or who does not listen, he's very vocal and very honest about how he feels and regardless of what other people say about him, he's going to do who he wants to do or do what he wants to do. So I feel as though he's been able to heal this wound. Next up is his Leo rising slash ascendant and with this placement he tends to be magnetic and he loves to attract attention towards himself whether it's voluntarily or involuntarily. He is self aware of the effects on others. He at times may have temper tantrums and he may jump to conclusions. He may be bossy or dramatic and he may over exaggerate at times however he always speaks his mind and he is always the type of person that's always working he's very confident in himself he's also going to be expressive he's going to be creative he's also going to be very warm-hearted he's an independent type of person he's charismatic he's generous and he's going to make sure that everyone around him is happy. And I think this really does describe Drake in the best way. Last but not least is his Midheaven in Taurus. And with this placement, he tends to go into an occupation that gives him sustainability. That gives him longevity. So he's going to be patient with his occupation, with the job he's at. So he loves to do anything that deals with pleasure, possessions, so he may, or anyone with this placement is a great real estate agent, beautician, like a chef, restaurant owner, or any business owner, a gardener or farmer, interior designer, a banker, a consultant, 
an art dealer, an antique dealer, and anything that deals with making sure that he is comfortable and he's going to make sure that he is the best in whatever occupation that he does and that he excels in the best way that he can in his occupation. So this is what he will be. That's all I have for you lovelies today in regards to Drake's natal chart. Please let me know down below how you felt about it. Did you get a better understanding as to who he is as a person? Did you get to understand a lot of the success he's garnered? Also, please let me know down below who else you would want me to do a natal chart analysis on. And please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Hit that like button and share this video with everyone you know as well. And if you have not yet followed me on my social media accounts, then this is your time to do so because I do post a lot of content on there that is not posted here on YouTube. So please make sure that you follow me on those social media accounts, support my Etsy store and my PayPal as well. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy and know that you're loved and appreciated and that you deserve everything in this world. Just make sure you work hard and you'll do everything. See you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.